And hello from Germany's Autostadt, the motor city, Wolfsburg. This is the scene here at the Volkswagen Arena. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Wolfsburg up against Werder Bremen. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. And so the starting lineup for Wolfsburg. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And a look at the starting 11 for Werder Bremen. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack-minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre-backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? And now they get the ball rolling. Arnold. And it's with Brekalo here. On to Toprak. Eggestein. On the ball, Augustinsson. Determined defending. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hop? Wonderful chance! Good stop from the keeper. Corner awarded. Played into the centre of the box. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Brekalo. Sergeant. It looks promising. Can he put them ahead? Able to get his body in the way. Arnold. Memedi. Renato Stefan with it. Promising looking ball. He's just got to continue his run. Something to worry about here. Veghorst. Well, strong play here. And the keeper showing tremendous command. He's driven in the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. Brekalo. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. A potential danger here. And deliver towards the back post. Eggestein. Agustinsson. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And firing it into the area. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Oh, 
Well, here's another look at it. It's a good delivery from the corner, and he gets up for the header, and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Baku, Schlager, now Admir Mamedi. Not showing good defensive judgment. As you can see, the visitors don't have too much of the ball. But when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert. Surely! And now he must score! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay. Great disguise on the pullback cross. And then from there, the keeper had a little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. So, 2 0 now. Tor for Bremen. The number seven, Milo Rajica. Baku. Maxence Lacroix. And now it's Ridley Baku. Schlager. On to Weghorst. Josh Sargent. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. That's all they can conjure for now. It should be. Well, it might still work out for them. Right over for now, it seems. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Brekalo. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goal, Lee. Yeah, losing a game is bad enough, but he's not helping his team out at all. Lack of movement, lack of imagination, too easily marshaled by the defence. He's not worked the keeper at all. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Eggestein on the ball Augustinsson good pressure high up the pitch a good effective pressure high up the pitch oh nice ball over the top oh and a perfect ball now how about this can he get one back he can he's given his team a real opportunity and momentum is with them Well, here's the replay, and the ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, 2-1 it is here. Gebre Zelassi. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. And a double substitution it's going to be. Gebre Zelassi. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Brekalo. And fed forwards. Brekalo. And the cross is very much on. 
Mamedi. Well, Wolfsburg certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear. And he's through here. Still a chance. And a marvellous save. Well, his reflex is there, absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers to pull saves off like that. He's driven in the corner. Well, a nearly moment, you've got to say. Did well to win the ball back. On the offensive. An incisive pass. Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, we can take another look at it now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start off the move. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. So a throw-in here. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. And slipped through beautifully. Takes the shot. And putting his body on the line. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Just couldn't capitalise there. And they do like to press whenever they can. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. To jump in front. And now it is there for him. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing, and that eventually leads to what amounts to a simple task of rounding the goalkeeper. 2v1. There's only one winner. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. Mimedi. Kevin Mbabu. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Rashica. He continues his run. Can they get in behind? Oh, what an opportunity! And an offside by rather a lot. Inside the final five minutes now. Went in strongly to win the ball. And they know they need to stop him. Veghorst. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, here's the replay. And it's a great ball into the danger area. And then it's a pretty tidy finish too, you have to say. Hits it hard and low and just makes it really difficult for the keeper. Lovely goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Rashica. 
And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. In with a chance. And in it goes. The perfect header. Exactly what they were looking for. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And then the finish couldn't be simpler, really. Given far too much time and space inside the box, and he doesn't even have to get up in the end. Just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. And so the final whistle here, the visitors come out on top late. Just nudging ahead when they did as won it for him in the end. Really tight affair that was. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.